Let's pull out a few more here. We have a leg up. We have thinker. We have truth be told. You can see these without me lifting them up, right? Uh, let me just shift a little bit closer. How about that? Yeah, for the most part. So for some of you guys, you have someone that is relying on you or you want to be able to rely on someone when it comes to, you know, connecting. You want to be able to help them out, but you also want it to be reciprocated. You're weighing out the pros and the cons of the situation because there's uncertainty there. Curiosity. OK, so it's just like you're weighing out the pros and the cons of the situation. But don't be too don't be in your mind to the point where, you know, you're disillusioning yourself or you're telling yourself you want to, you know, you want to feel a certain way when it actually is not the truth. Like, don't put yourself in the state of when you're thinking too hard and it becomes to the point of denial with the truth be told. That's what that's all about. It's just like taking off the mask and expressing yourself. If you're, in a, if you're in a relationship and you're not expressing how you feel, if you are, you know, crushing on someone or, you know, looking at a prospect or even if like if you're single and you don't even have anybody right now, ultimately, at the end of the day, some of you guys are in the process when it comes to your love life. You're trying to weigh out, OK, what is it, what is it that I actually want? What is it that I don't want? That's the process that you're in right now. But again, looking at things with a fresh pair of eyes. OK, now the connection, what connects you and this other person together is by the book tradition. You know, meeting boy meets girl, girl meets boy, they date, there's courtship, they move in, they get engaged, they get married, the children, whatever the case may be. But what connects you guys together is the fact that you both respect tradition. OK, now let's go ahead and clear that out, Pisces. Let's put that to the side and I need you to the side as well. Thank you. All right. Let's go into the tarot reading. We're going to put out the cards and then we're going to go over them after. Current situation. We have the Six of Cups. For your challenge, we have the Seven of Pentacles. For the action or advice to overcome your challenge, we have the Magician. How are we, can you see that? Mm, let's go over just a little bit more. I do this all the time. Okay. All right. So as far as the lessons that you can learn from one another is strength. How they feel about you. We have the five of wands. And the outcome, we have the ace of wands. Nice. Nice for you, Pisces. So right now with the current situation being the six of cups, some of you guys are dealing with the soulmate. Some of you guys are calling in your soulmate. Some of you guys are looking back at someone that you had a relationship with that was good, that has fond memories, you know, and it's just like this person has been on your mind, you know, to the point where it's either you want to reach out to them, you're wondering what's going on with them. You know, if you're in a relationship, then this is a soulmate connection. Your challenge comes in as far as patience goes. Right now, you guys, some of you guys are impatient. It's kind of like, you know what? I feel like I've done the work. I felt like I put myself out there. Now I want to see the fruits of my labor. I want to see if this is going to be actually something that's going to be worth my time. I want to see if this person is real, like as far as who they are and who they say they are. You know, so it's just like you're kind of getting a little impatient because it's just like, you know what you want when it comes to emotional fulfillment and you just don't want to be sitting around waiting for someone you want them to make a move but ultimately where the action that needs to be taken is you need to make a move with the magician you need to speak what you want into existence if you want to date someone you need to speak that into existence if you want um you know things to go However, you want them to go in your relationship, you know, for those of you who are dealing with someone, but it's just like you have the ability to manifest 
whatever it is that you want. You just have to speak it into existence. What you want out of your relationship, if things aren't going the way that is emotionally fulfilling to you, to the point where you're looking back at when things were good, when things were good, excuse me, or you're looking back at a past relationship that you actually cherished because you knew that this person that you've dealt with in the past was, you know, worth it. However, that may have ended or whatever the situation is, but ultimately your action is you want something speaking into the exist, speak it into the existence. The magician is ruled by Mercury. That's all about communication. That's all about understanding. You know, that's all about delivering the message as above, so below. So speak what you want into existence in order for it to come to you. Okay. Now, as far as the lessons that you can learn from one another is strength, finding your inner courage, finding your inner strength, being able to, again, rely on one another, being fearless, not letting anything hold you back. Some of you guys, if you're dealing with somebody else, like you're not in a relationship, but let's say you're, you're talking to this person or whatever the case may be, crushing, whatever the hell. But at the end of the day, the lesson here is you got to put ego to the side and you got to just jump into the fire feet first not literally speaking though I mean don't jump into nobody's fire you know <laughs> let's be let's be real um but at, at the end of the day is it's take that risk because it's just like you have the strength you have the ability there so don't second guess yourself you're not weak you know what you want and that's something that you both have in common is the fact that you can pull from each other's strength. And if you haven't met this person, then this is what I'm referring to. And when I'm saying you can pull from each other's strength, you guys, you know, have a good connection with one another. Now, as far as how they feel about you, they feel that you have some inner conflict that you're working on. You know, they feel like you're, you're conflicted about something. For some, it's it's a matter of waiting around on the other person. And that other person has things that they have to take care of. The other person may be in a, another relationship. But it's just like how they feel about you is that they feel your conflict. It's like they feel your energy. They feel your vibe when they're around you. Or it's just like, you know, there's, like I said, there's a sense of um, not urgency, but there's a sense of like, I got to know. I need to know. All right. We're going to clarify. Then with the outcome being the ace of wands, this is a new beginning. This is a passionate new beginning, a passionate new beginning. OK. You could be dealing with any sign. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Gemini. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You could be dealing with the Leo. You know, we have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So. Besides the swords, we have pretty much everything else here. Clarifying the six of cups is the two of swords. All right, let me lay these out. Clarifying the seven of cups, we have the six of wands. Excuse me, the seven of pinnacles, we have the six of wands. Clarifying the magician, we have the nine of cups. Clarifying the strength card, we have the eight of wands. <laughs> clarifying the how they feel about you and the five of wands we have the strength card again so some of you guys are dealing with the leo and lastly for the ace of wands we have the two of wands clarifying that so for the current situation some of you guys like i said you're looking back at a past relationship you're thinking about somebody that you used to deal with and this is someone who brought you happiness though this is not someone who hurt you okay this is someone that treated you well but at the same time you're conflicted because you're on some of you are uncertain if you want to reach out to this person because you don't know where where they're at in their life when it comes to love where they're at in their where they're at in the relationship others of you it's all about trying to find a balance it's just like you're dealing with whatever you're dealing with in the present. If you're in a relationship, you're dealing with whatever you're dealing with in the present. But at the same time, you're still kind of looking back at the fond memories that you had with this person. 
things may not be going well, but things may not be going the way you want them to go. But from looking at everything that's down here, the only thing that I see is the fact that there's nothing to be confused about. There's no confusion here. There's love, there's passion, there's desire, there's manifestation, there's dreams coming true, there's wish fulfillment. It's just a matter of you having that patience, you know, with the six of wands, that whole victory and recognition. Some of you guys, you feel like you're not being recognized. The other person doesn't see you as the way you want them to see you. Okay. With the nine of cups clarifying the magician is just like I said, it's manifesting your happiness, manifesting your emotional fulfillment. When it comes to the strength card, as far as the lessons that you learn from one another, it's clarified by the eight of wands. There is a lot of passionate and fiery energy around this union. You're going to be hearing from someone and I know I said this in the, in the, in the first half, I want to like the first half is like, you're going to be hearing from someone, but for this, obviously, cause there are two separate readings, so they're not, you know, correlated in that sense. But for this, as far as the lessons that you need to learn from one another, it's when you have something in mind, take action. You have the confidence. So you take action, you motivate one another. It's like you move, you, you communicate without holding anything back for the, how they look at you. They do see that you're a strong person. They do see your strengths, but they also see that you have some inner conflict going on. And it boils down to the two of swords where you need to balance out what you feel in, in your intuition. So what you feel intuitively and what's going on in your mind in a way that ties back down to the thinker card. And the truth be told that came up in the Oracle spread where it's just like weighing out the pros and the cons. It's like, don't stay too stuck in La La Land though, because there's a new beginning here and you know, which direction you want the relationship to go in, you know, which direction that you want to go in when it comes to the type of person you want to deal with. You want something that is going to balance you out. You don't want something where you feel like you're giving and the other person is just taking. 